Now, as we all may have heard, playing games does not give you any benefits at all, aside from fulfilling your needs of enjoyment. But nonetheless, little did they know that there are many benefits that you can gain from playing games. Angels, Granik and Lobo did a research on the benefits of playing games, and it seems that there are many positive compared to the negative points on playing games. Most of them are benefiting on their health, such as to their brains, their skills, and many more. In this video, I'll be talking about the playing games for physical therapy. What types of games that can benefit the physical body? How can playing games improve our physical performance? Why is it good for your physical health? An annual review of cybertherapy and telemedicine shows that video games can reduce stress and depression. A research had shown that people can release their aggression and frustration into the games without even hurting anybody else. As they are playing games, they will have the sense of feeling of relaxation which can calm themselves down as they are playing the game. Besides that, playing video games also can be a pain relief. Gallagher wrote an article about 7 health benefits of playing video games, said that video games does not just provide relief from emotional pain, but they can also help those who are suffering from physical pain. Another reason why a game is good for your health is that it can improve your vision as well. This theory was quoted by Gallagher from Dr. Daphne Morrow from the Visual Development Lab of Ontario McMaster's University said that people who suffer from cataracts can actually improve their vision by playing a fast-paced game such as Medal of Honor or Call of Duty. Since the game requires a quick reflex, you will tend to be more focused on the game which boosts your visual so that you see things more sharply. This proves that playing video games can actually improve your health in many ways. A physical therapy consists of consultation with the therapist and the patient, and also to do some training exercises that specifies the problems of the patient. Usually at the beginning, they will have to come in to see the therapist for the session. Later on, they will, inst they will instruct them to do the therapy exercises back at home, which in most cases, not many have been following them. Wang wrote in, the re in her research saying patients from the repetitive exercises are boring, resulting in only 31% of people performing them as recommended. Patients are easily to lose confidence in recovering as they are not being observed for improvements for a long time. Therefore, to overcome these problems, therapists try tried the new approach for the therapy session and that is to use video games with motion-based input devices. With this, they can complete the therapeutic exercises at home easily since you are playing games with the graphical images and multi-mode game context to entertain you while doing the exercises. I mean, as a combination of exercise and video games, extra gaming has been introduced as early as the 1950s when the arcade games were introduced. Also, extra gaming is fun to do as you have the interactivity with the graphics on the display and the compliments that you received after you achieved something can be a motivation for you to play more and improve more. Therefore, I wanted to know whether it can be used as a physical therapy. For the physical therapy, we need to focus on specific parts of the body so that they can do the exercise for a long period of time to improve them. The first technology that they use is using the virtual reality games. You will use your full arms as a tracking and gesture recognition, or in other words, as a controller for the game. Each joint of the arms and hands are recognized by the electromagnetic impulses sent through the wire gloves that you wore. Once they detected the joints, an avatar will appear on the screen in a virtual environment. Hence, you can then start to train specific hand gestures depending on what injuries you had and what needs to improve on. The next one is to use the augmented reality method, which uses the head mounted displays. This method involves the rendering of virtual objects onto the capture scene in the real world. So instead of seeing a third person view, you can actually see things in your own point of view. This interaction will give the sense of direct mapping of the daily task and manipulate it and turn it into a game for the daily task. The disadvantages of using this method is that the patient can have some problems with perception of death. 
when they view things using the head mounted display. There was one program that was done with the Nintendo Wii called the Wii Hub system, which cooperates with the Wii system and standard Windows based PC. This program was in the research of Andersono, Aneta, and Bishofa, which they wrote more in depth about Nintendo Wii and its progress for rehabilitation program. The Wii Hub system made, made a program according to the specific targets of what they want to focus on for the physical therapy. The patient can then customize the program according to the level of their own strength and skills. They also can change the speed of the program according to the patient's fitness. Besides that, the system also can measure and record the performance of a patient. It will record the time between the, use, the user interactions, the duration of the action, and also capture the score performance of the patient every time they play the game. Also, they give you the auditory feedback for every session that you have done. The therapist can specify the type of feedback like visual, auditory, or haptic. The performance of each session can also be viewed again by using a simple web services which allows you to upload and then to be viewed again. This can be good for both the patient and the therapist. Not only that, they can also view them in a form of charts, graphs, or animations of task competencies and progresses. In addition, the system also allows you to be, to be played multiplayer. This allows the patients to work with other patients or to be interacted with their therapists. Hence, this will motivate them more to continue the activity longer. There are four different types of games in the virtual rehab system, and they are Snowball Fight, Mouse House, Startle Fish, and Alien Abduction. Each of these activities are suitable for young and old, as these activities are aimed to increase the trunk control, level extremity stability, and patient balance. For the snowball fight activity, the person can be either, either standing, sitting, or kneeling on the Wii balance board and required to learn to lean from side to side to dodge the incoming snowballs. To throw the snowball, you will use the Wii remote. How fast and the trajectory of the snowball depends on the motion set off from the Wii remote in the air. This activity encourages you to work on the dynamic postural control and movement accuracy. The next activity is the mouse house, where the patient plays the role of a mouse, but you have to find pieces of cheese scattered throughout a large virtual house. The patient will then need to use the Wii balance board and the Wii remote. For them to move the mouse, they will have to sit on, stand on, or kneel on the balance board and use it as a navigation by shifting their weight. This activity challenges them in exercising the balance and the movement precision. It can be played with more than one player, where you will race against each other to see who can find the most cheese first. Another activity that they have was the startle fish. In this activity, the patient becomes a diver and has to remain staying still to avoid being eaten by the virtual sharks. As the patients move, their body from left to right on the Wii balance board, you will attract the marine life surrounding you. But if it moves too much, the Wii remote will then vibrate, and if it vibrates too much, the shark will hit the, the character. This can be played as a multiplayer, as you can change the program to make both players outlast each other and see how many fishes they can appear as they balance themselves on the Wii balance board. The level of the stability and the visual can also be changed according to the therapist to see where the level of the patient is. Lastly, the alien abduction activity. The patient will be a leader of a group of aliens that wants to abduct as many humans as possible. The aim of this activity is to let the patient balance the center of the gravity at different sections of the Wii balance board in order to beam up the human. If you lost balance, the baby will then fail and the human will drop up again. This challenges them on the postural control, the movement accuracy and balance. There are many other games that are made for physical therapy on Nintendo Wii and Xbox Kinect, such as Catching Dishes, which exercise your elbow and your exaltation on the shoulder, Collecting Eggs, which played with the patient, remains balanced, standing on one leg. 
collect the egg by jumping from mountain top to mountain top. Preparing dishes, where you will exercise your rotation in your head in the horizontal plane or moving forward of the neck. And also flying dragon, where it challenges the balance of your center gravity. There are also studies made by psychologists at the University of Washington who developed a game which helps patients that suffer from pain by using games as a distraction. Even the military hospital used them as well for the soldiers. Surprisingly, this hiccup is proven to be really effective in the medical field. All of these exercises are to push the limits or increase the muscle strength and enhancing coordination of movements to regain back their skills. This can conclude that using exogaming can be of use for physical therapy as it is both entertaining as it has graphical images and easy to play as 90% of the gameplay is only using parts of your body and 10% is only to use the Wii mode and the Wii Balance mode. Although not all games can be played for physical therapy, the main objective is to engage using certain parts of the body. But nevertheless, playing video games does have its beneficial in many ways.